Hello everybody, Skin Deep Beauty Vlogger here. I hope you're all really well. Welcome to September Favourites. Can you believe how quickly this year is flying by? I feel like I say that every single monthly favourites, but it's true. I haven't got too many favourites to share with you this month. I've been keeping it pretty simple, sticking to the products that I know and love, but I wanted to share them with you nonetheless. So I'm going to jump in and get started with a product that will come as no surprise if you watched my recent Get Ready With Me. This is the Real Techniques Silicone Liner Brush, which I've just used to apply my liner with today, so it's dirty, excuse that. If you want to see this in use, do check out the Get Ready With Me, which I'll link below. This is wonderful. I thought it was gonna be really gimmicky and not make much difference, but actually, if you struggle with liquid liner or gel liner, then do check this out because it just makes it effortless and idiot proof. I, I do wear liquid liner fairly regularly but I'm by no means an expert and this just makes it so easy to apply, you have a lot of control, you can almost just sort of rest it and let the product transfer without having to sort of have too much of a steady hand. It's really, really good product to invest in and it's affordable. It washes really easily as well because it is just that silicone tip. I tend to leave the eyeliner to dry on it and then you just rinse it off really, really easy. Would highly recommend this as a sort of must have tool if you like using those sorts of liners. And another makeup product that I wanted to include in my favorites, but I don't know if I've included it before. So if I have, apologies. I try not to repeat my favorite products because although they may stay favorites, I think that would be pretty boring if I did that every single month. This is a cult favourite and with good reason. It's the MAC Mineralized Skin Finish in Soft and Gentle. And how much product do you get in here? This is going to last for ages. I only use this as a highlight to highlight the tops of my cheekbones, down the bridge of the nose, maybe a little bit on the cupid's bow. Sometimes I even put a little bit on my forehead as well. It's a gorgeous, natural, sort of champagne coloured highlight that isn't too much for every day. So I would wear this for work, say if I felt that something such as the Balm Mary Luminizer was gonna to be too much. This is really, really lovely. I also quite like using it as an eyeshadow as well. I mean, there's so much product in here that I don't think I'll ever get through it. In fact, I'm gonna to top mine up now. It's just a really gorgeous color that just catches the light. It's not glittery or or fake looking, it just imparts a natural glow to the skin. I am actually wearing a, a Radiance foundation today, I'm wearing the Clarins True Radiance foundation, but this just gives a little something extra, and I think that's really nice, particularly this time of year. I would wear this product all year round, but it's nice when, you know, skin's maybe starting to look a bit duller, people are putting the central heating on. Nice way of imparting a natural glow without being too much. And I like to apply that using the e.l.f. blush brush, which is rubbish for blush, but really good as a highlighter. And then last but not least is a hand cream. And I hate greasy hand creams. And I'm actually pretty lazy when it comes to moisturizing my hands. So despite the fact that I take a lot of care over my facial skincare, I really do need to up my game a bit when it comes to hand cream. So I've been trying to make an effort to keep one in my desk drawer at work or you know, by my bed, maybe even in my car. I haven't actually come that far yet, but maybe I should because they do say you can tell a person's age by looking at their hands. And especially as we go into winter, you know, hands are gonna get drier. I'm trying to wear my hands, I'm trying to wear my nails with polish again, because I really do miss that. I've been trying to give them a bit of a break this year, but I'm back on the polish. I love these sort of vampy shades. This is a Mavala polish, um, and I've done a little accent nail, which is about as far as I'll ever go when it comes to nail art. It's called Warm Cognac, and then, I think this is called something like Let It Snow. I'll put it in the, description bar below anyway, which I quite often do. This is the ha Clarins Hand and Nail Treatment Cream. Apparently, the Queen is a fan of this. I don't know if that's true or not, but if she is, then I wouldn't be surprised because it's a beautiful cream. It's not greasy at all. It's easily absorbed. It has a really lovely scent as well. Nice and subtle. It doesn't interfere with any other fragrance you're wearing, but it's just great for keeping the desk raw because you can whack it onto your skin, rub it in, and you're good to go, get on with your other chores. It's not gonna leave greasy residue, but it does leave your hands really nice and nourished. I've got a review of this coming up on my blog in October, so stay tuned for that. My blog's always linked below, so do check it out if you're not familiar with it. But I particularly wanted to mention this this month because Clarins are doing their feed project again. So you guys know, if you watch my channel regularly, that I'm a big fan of Clarins. It doesn't really come as any struggle for me to discuss their products because I'm, I really do trust them. I think they're good quality. I really like their skincare. I like a lot of their body care that I've tried as well. I like their makeup. So if you're sort of looking to buy a couple of Clarins products, 
then it might be worth you checking this out because it's a really good cause. You get a nice little makeup bag. For each one of these bags, you will provide 10 school meals. And in here, you get the hand and nail treatment cream. So if you wanted to try it, then this would be a good chance to do so. Um, there's a gentle refiner exfoliating cream. I haven't tried that, so can't comment. Moisture rich body lotion. Again, haven't tried it, so I can't comment, but I like their, um, what's it called? The extra firming body cream. That's quite a greasy formula, but I like it. So maybe that would be nice too. There is a relaxed bath and shower concentrate. This really is a concentrate. It's a nice product for it. Sort of, you know, as you're going into those wintry months and want to maybe indulge in a bit of home spa experience, really lovely. Great for nighttime use. A little goes a long way with this. It's a nice way of trying it out. You're going to get a good feel for all of these products actually because they're all good sizes. There's, last but not least, is one of my favourite hydrating masks. This is the Clarence Hydro Quench Cream Mask. Great for the morning after the night before. Really nice for adding, really nice for adding nourishment back into dehydrated skin. Highly recommend this as a product. So there's two favourite products in there that I would recommend and then two that I haven't tried yet and the bath and shower concentrate which I wouldn't say is a favourite but I do like it. So just wanted to mention that because I know these favourites are fairly short anyway I thought it was a good opportunity to mention something that's a really good cause. Anyway I hope that you've enjoyed this video keeping it short and sweet but I think that goes to show that you know I'm honest with my favourites I'm not going to just put random fillers in for the sake of it. Not too sure what you think of the new setup but I was to try something a little bit different. It's nothing crazy. I've just got my cupboards behind me. Anyway do let me know what your favourites of September have been. Maybe it might help me discover some new products. I hope that you've had a great month. Do subscribe if you haven't already by clicking below. Give this a thumbs up if you've enjoyed it. And enjoy the rest of your day. Thank you so much for watching. See you soon. Bye.